Hey everyone, it's LaShawn McQuarrie Redmond bringing you another white towel video message. Happy belated New Year's everyone. And I'm excited to announce that this year I'm going to be doing things just a little bit differently. Now you all know that I'm an author, I'm a love coach, I also do speaking. And one of the things that has always moved me, I would call it my core message, is about our power. All of us tapping into our power, all of us just fully embracing who we are, the core of our being, our true essence, all of those wonderful things, just being and operating from the place of our highest self. And so this year, all the messages, they're going to be kind of similar to some of the ones that you've heard in the past as I talk about self-love and relationships. And so some of those themes are going to continue this year. But the difference is that I'm going to begin to dive deeper into the spiritual aspect. You know, we are spiritual beings that are having human experiences. And I know most of us look at it the opposite way. We consider ourselves to be human beings that every now and then we have a spiritual experience. But I want us to begin to shift that thinking. I want us to begin to walk on the water, to step out of the boat and allow ourselves to just really dive deeper and allow ourselves to connect with the highest and best part of ourselves. And that is as spiritual beings. Right now, everyone is making all these different New Year's resolutions. And I'm not against resolutions. The unfortunate part is most people, well, they don't hold up with their New Year's resolutions. Some people have already fallen off the bandwagon. Some people are a couple of weeks, maybe even a couple of months. But when I talk about evolving as a soul, as I'm talking to you this year about owning your power, and just truly being your authentic self. I'm going to challenge you to be constantly making decisions to own your power. For you to make decision after decision after decision to continue to get back up and really know who you are as a spiritual being so that you can have better human experiences. So this is the goal for this year. I am excited about it. And I have to be honest with you, I'm not sure how these messages are going to come out, but I'm going to roll with the punches and I'm hoping that you will continue to join me every week as I bring these messages to you. So until next week, I hope that you are already enjoying the year of 2020. Yes, we are here in this new decade. I'm going to make the best of it, and I'm hoping that you will as well.